guest tonight. My next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian and host of the podcast The Struggle. Please welcome Candace Thompson, everybody. Good? Good. That's great. I am going through it a little bit. I recently got dumped, and uh, my friend said something very silly to me. She was like, that's so weird. You don't look sad on your Instagram. <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, that's not what social media is for, right? Like, no one's posting their lowest moments on the gram. Nobody's doing that. I'm not going to post a picture of me deep throating mozzarella sticks at hometown buffet like I was doing <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> That's reckless, all right? What I'm going to do is post a picture of me looking fly at the club from seven years ago, living my truth. That's what I'm going to do. Right? <laughs> so I'm on all the dating apps now, all of them. I'm not even sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but I'm on all of them. I'm using apps that aren't even for dating, for dating. I'm like messaging dudes on Waze. <laughs> you up? <laughs> you suck in traffic, boo? You need some company? Alexa, find me a man. <laughs> I am learning that the words that people use on these dating apps have different meanings than the words that we use in our daily lives. For example, I've learned that the word entrepreneur means poor. I am very single, and I'm terrified of getting into a long-term committed relationship, and that's mainly because I watch Forensic Files. Um, and if you also watch Forensic Files, then you also know that 90% of marriages end in murder. And so, I'm not trying to get stabbed for love, all right? <laughs> not gonna do it. I don't know if you guys know this, but crimes of passion happen very frequently. So frequently that if you kill your spouse, you can go to court and the court will let you plead insanity. That's right. If you kill your spouse, the court will let you plead insanity. You know what that means? That's the court saying, I get it. <laughs> right? That's the court saying, we've all been there, we've all been in love, and we've all been hurt, and we all wanted to hurt somebody, right? <laughs> That's all that is. I was watching a documentary not that long ago, and in this documentary, they were interviewing men who were all in prison for murdering their wives. And when they asked them why they did it, they all had the same response, and that response was, I wanted to be with my mistress, but I didn't think that my wife would leave me so I could be with her. And I'm looking at this like, you didn't think? Your wife would leave you? Well, maybe if you had told her that you were going to kill her. Like, did you? <laughs> did you present all the options? <laughs> what are you doing? You could have made a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> you could have maybe made a pie chart showing her percentage of survival if she stayed. <laughs> maybe your wife's a visual learner. I don't know. I <laughs> feel like you didn't try. Like, I'm so angry at so many things. Uh, I, we're not allowed to shame anymore. I miss shame. You guys remember shame, that feeling you get when you make a bad decision, right? That's shame, and we're not allowed to do it anymore. Now, here's the thing. You shouldn't shame somebody for the way they look or something they have no control over. That's not nice, but not all shame is bad. If it leads to a productive end, what difference does it make how we got there? Shame is the only reason I took a shower today. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Not all shame is bad. Do you remember like eight years ago when you would have been ashamed to tell somebody that you sat at home and watched 13 hours of television in a row? <laughs> remember that? You have to think back because that was so long ago. But now, not only are we not ashamed of it, we're bragging about it. <laughs> bragging about all the television we've been watching, making other people feel badly if they haven't watched the same amount of television. <laughs> What do you mean you haven't watched Game of Thrones? I watched all seven seasons yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? That's 92 weeks of programming. How did you do that? That's not even mathematically possible. Oh, I don't know. I didn't leave my bed once. I just peed in that bookshelf you gave me for Christmas last year. <laughs> not using that for anything else like reading. Like, this is <laughs> shameful behavior, people. And what's happening now with all this anti-shaming is that we've created a society of just blind acceptance. We're just accepting everybody's behavior just to spare somebody's feelings. And that's not healthy either. Can't you love me with all my flaws? No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no, pick up a book, go to therapy. 
happy. Find out why you cry every time you hear I want it that way played at a wedding. <laughs> you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. You can see Candace at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles tomorrow night.